Hi all, Tyson coming back with rudiment number two of the rudimental ritual, the single drag. It's called that because there's one drag in it. Uh, a couple things I want to get just out of the way real quick. What I'm going to do for you traditional grip people is I'm just going to alternate between the rudiments, either mash grip or traditional grip. That way you can kind of see how each is done and you don't feel left out if you're a all traditional grip player. I like to switch back and forth when I'm practicing uh, day, you know, every other day. And it's a nice way to kind of keep up on that. Uh, so if you're not used to playing matched grip or if you're not used to playing traditional grip, that might be a fun practice idea. Just one day play matched and the next day play traditional. Uh, and with that, let's get on to the rudiment. A quick thing to explain about this rudiment. This is uh, one of the rudiments that has kind of a a uh, little bit of a different time feel. It The nature of the rudiment is 3-4 time, but the whole rudimental ritual is done in 4-4 four, four time, so you're going to be kind of getting this overlapping, kind of almost over the bar type feel where it's going to be 1 and, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. And when you get to that fourth measure, you know, the one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four. Uh, by the time you get to the fourth measure, it has overlapped and it starts over at one again. So uh, let's just get to the rudiment and a few different exercises for uh, kind of building up this rudiment if, if it's not something you've played before. Uh, the easiest way to kind of get acquainted with it, if I can make that stay, is to play triplets where you got one and a two and a three and a four and a, and to take those first those accented notes and just double them so you got one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. and you can play it that way for a while and then switch uh, the double note to the second note of the triplet so one and a, two and a, three and a. And I think you know what's coming next. Once you've got that down on the second note, put it on the third or the uh. So you got one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. And once you feel comfortable with those, now we kind of got to start learning to to hear how it sounds within four four time. And uh, the nature of the rudimental ritual, when you're playing a lot of these straight notes. It's kind of, it goes in an eighth note type pattern. So you got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So instead of counting those triplets as triplets, try counting them straight within uh, the quarter notes and the eighth notes of the one and two and three and four. And. Now I'm going to put the accents on the first note. So. And I'll count those out. So you got one and a two. And <laughs> That's triplets. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So did you notice that that's four measures? Here, I'll, I'll do it again and I'll count out. So one and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and three and two and three and four and four and two and three and four. Now the reason I stopped on four is because there's your four measures, but also this rudiment when you're playing it in the ritual stops on four, and so you can use those three exercises I showed you, and you can play with the accents on the first one, on the first, the the main, you know, the, the quarter note, one and two, and, well, one and two, ah, one and a, two and a, three and a, four and, then you can play it on the second note, then you can play it on the third note, and you can stop on four each time and switch between the two, like this, one and a, <laughs> Try this again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and three and two and three and four and four and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and four and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And so once you kind of got the feel of that down. Then you can kind of start putting it in to the ritual and adding the feet, you know, one and two and three and four and one and two. Now, the thing to uh, kind of keep in mind, and if you, 
you know, have picked up the book, I would encourage you to listen to the CD or, you know, get online and find somebody who has played the rudimental ritual and recorded themselves doing it. You can kind of hear what it sounds like. Uh, oh, I was going to play traditional, so I'll do that now. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you can get on and hear what it sounds like. It's not... That's more of a straight sound. It, uh, the drag, you want to be close to those... So it's a little bit closer. There's a little more of a lilt to it as opposed to a straight, a straight sound. You get a... kind of thing. So, I'm going to put that together with the quarter notes, and uh, you can hear what it sounds like. I'm going to count out loud, too. So, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Or, one and two and three and four and two and three and three and four and three and two and three and four and four and two and three and four. So, when you get to the fourth measure, and the fourth beat of the fourth measure, it's and four. You stop right on that four, so there's a little bit of a and there you go. You've got that whole rudiment. So now what you do that you've got two rudiments, you start tying them together, and it's just going to keep getting longer and longer with each rudiment. So I'm going to play uh, rudiment number one, which is the clo the three stroke rough. I don't know why I forgot what that was. And then on to the single drag. So you just put them together. So we start out with the right, we go to the left, and then we play the single drag. Okay, so here I'll, I'll give it a little count off. One, two, three, four, one, four, two, two, three, four, two, three, four, four, two, three, and one. And there you have it. That's probably going to be the longest one because once you get acquainted with this 3-4 time over 4-4 four, four time, uh, then you can kind of hear it with other rudiments because you're going you're gonna to encounter it a lot in the ritual. So give those a practice and uh, give them a run through and see if you can play rudiment number one to rudiment number two. And uh, we'll pick up next time with rudiment number three. Okay, enjoy.